what is up guys this is dr hums tech welcome back to the channel today we're going to check out the s20 plus again i'm going to do a few more videos with this while i wait for my new phone to arrive so today we are going to do some gaming over here on s20 plus not sure average kind of gaming but some ps2 gamecube dreamcast and other games on some emulators I'll be using the PPSSPP for the PSP games, Raid Dream for those Dreamcast games, Citra for those Nintendo DS games, Damon PS2 for the PS2 games, and Zorfin Emulator for those GameCube and Wii games. So I'll be using the 8-bit DOS SN30 Pro and the PS4 DualShock controllers for these emulators. So before we start, let's check out what's inside the S20+. Plus. It comes in with a 7 nanometer Exynos 990 chip, which is octa-core. And in this same set, the GPU comes in with a Mali G77 MP11. This is different compared to the Exynos 650, which you can find on the Snapdragon 865 version. So for the games that we're playing, I'll show you the title of the game, the emulator I'm using, and the game's FPS. So for the first game, I'm actually playing Pokemon X on the Citra emulator. This emulator, you can actually get it from the Google Play Store. But for the ROMs, you have to actually download it yourself, which is a little bit tricky for those Nintendo DS games. So for this game, I'm actually playing it at default settings, and it doesn't really run as smooth as you want it to be. It's okay, but it gets pretty slow. For those people who have used this so far and you know how to tweak the settings, do leave a comment down below for me to check it out. The game only runs at about 20 to 30 fps and I would say yeah, it is very slow. So over here we are playing Kingdom Hearts 2 on the Demon PS2. This is one of my best games that I played back in the PS2 era and I'm actually quite happy that I can play this on my phone. It does run really well at about 50 to 60 fps. Keep in mind that you have to actually purchase the game to use your Bluetooth controllers. Otherwise, you have to use the game's on-screen controllers. This game will heat up your phone and as you can see here, it can reach about 40 degrees. Now let's check out God of War 2. The gameplay is pretty well. It goes about 50 to 60 FPS at full speed. Now let's check out some PSP games on the PPSSPP. Here we have Tekken 5 running at 2 times the resolution and it goes full speed at 60 FPS. Next up we have the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I have actually played the first Ultimate Alliance over here on the emulator, and both games run pretty well. Now let's check out some WWE games. This is WWE Raw vs Smackdown 2007. It's also running at 2 times resolution, and it goes about 50 to 60 FPS at full speed. And the last one here, we have God of War Chains of Olympus. This is one of the hardest games to actually emulate on the PPSSPP. Here it's running at 2 times the resolution at about 20 to 40 FPS and it's about 80% of the speed. Next up, we're gonna play some Dreamcast games on the Raid Dream. Here we have the King of Fighters which is running at a nice 60 FPS at full times the speed. Next up over here, we are playing Dead or Alive, and again, it does run at full speed at 60 FPS.
Last up here, we have the Dolphin Emulator to play those Wii and GameCube games. If you're familiar with this emulator, you know that's a Dolphin MMJ which you can find online. And for some reason, I can't get it to play on my S20+. Plus. So first up here, we're playing Need for Speed Most Wanted. For me, this is one of the best racing games you can find out there. Back in the PS2 era, I played this a lot of times. And now you can play this on the Dolphin Emulator. I am pretty impressed with this one. Next up we have Ultimate Spider-Man, which I didn't manage to finish back in the PS2 days. This game is a bit tricky to emulate as you have to go to the settings to tweak the emulated CPU clock speeds. And the last GameCube game we have here is Soul Calibur. This runs pretty well, about 60 FPS. And the last emulator game we have here is Ultimate Smash Bros. Brawl from the Wii. This game runs pretty well at 60 FPS. And for the last section, we'll play some mobile games. Over here, we have Asphalt 9. This game, as you would imagine, will run really smooth and fluid. Now let's check out Call of Duty. I have maximized the settings on the game. It runs really well and smooth without any crashing. And lastly over here on PUBG, so on the setting side, I have actually maximized the graphics. So yes, as you can imagine, the game runs really well and smooth as well, and I didn't experience any crashing. So that's it guys, that's all the gaming we have for you. Most of the games run pretty well on the S20 Plus Exynos 990 version, but I did see better results with the Snapdragon 865. So in my future videos when I get a Snapdragon 865, if you guys are interested, I will play the same games on that phone. So if you enjoyed this video, do give a like. And if you're new to the channel, do click that subscribe button. So that's it guys, this is Dr. Hummus Tech. Stay safe, take care and wash your hands.